So I got inspiration to uh, today. I did something I don't usually do, which is I fixed my car. Yes. Um, and so I got the urge to play, uh, play a racing game. And this is, uh, we already played, I think we already played all of your favorite racing games. Rush trucks. <laughs> we played, uh, what did we play? Hyperzone. We played F-Zero. What was the other one you said? We'll wipe out, but we can't really play that. Like... Wipe out. Is that a, that's a PlayStation a 1, right? For Nintendo. <laughs> I don't think there's wipe out for Nintendo. No, that's fine. <laughs> That'd be what's, amazing, the, what's the one with the the hovercraft, the hovering jet skis? Jet Moto? Oh. That's a fun yeah, game. Yeah, but you made me think of Wave Race and not. <laughs> well, Wave Race. Jet Moto was like Sony's Sony's answer to Wave Race, right? Oh, was it? I love that. That's, that's why I always interpret it. You can <laughs> ride a dolphin. <laughs> Best game ever. 10 out of 10. Oh my god, yes. Just just that for me is 10 out of 10. If I could ride a dolphin, it's 10 out of 10. That's why we play games, to live out our fantasies. Yeah. I was about to say, like, that's why we, I thought you were going to say that's why we play the games, to ride dolphins. I was, yeah, like, each game I have, like, a checklist of what I'm looking for in the game. And, like, if ride dolphin isn't there, I just move on. <laughs> <laughs> I got two games I play. Wave I Race two and Echo. Right. <laughs> you know, now I want to go on a quest to see how many games have. Uh, have dolphins. Well, let's just we could broaden the uh, the scope and be like uh, games with friendly dolphins. Because I don't know about riding dolphins. The Star Tropic? I think Star Tropics has a friendly dolphin. Definitely does. Yes, I remember that <laughs> dolphin. He comes out of the water and he goes like eek eek. <laughs> oh, new game for us to play. What this game? So. <laughs> Um, I love this game. So this game was introduced to me. I never played it until I went to a family reunion and my cousin, she popped, she got this game out and said, this is the best game ever. And she handed, she started passing the controller around and we played two player micro machines for uh -huh. the entire family reunion. And it is probably my oh favorite my family reunion. Oh my God. Yes. I love memories like that. My dad, uh, introduced me to Mario Party. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, he just you have a had a party at your house? <laughs> like I was at his house, I forget why. And like I remember he just he had a Nintendo 64 and you know, like I was at a, I was at his house like, you know, there was there was nothing else for me that entertained me there. And like I don't know if it was a family function or what it was, but anyway, like he had a Nintendo 64, so I'm looking like, oh, what games are here that I might like? And I didn't recognize any of them. And then, like, uh, there's Mario Party, and I'm like, oh, let's give it a shot. I love that game! <laughs> That's Mario awesome. Party's the best. Did you, did you end up playing it by yourself? Uh, did I? Did he play with me? I don't know. I think... Well, anyway, you ended up <laughs> loving the game. Yes! I loved I loved Mario Party until they did the weird one. Oh, for the Switch? I don't know. I it wasn't for the Switch. It was before that. I, okay. I was playing like every Mario Party, and then they had the one where they were all like in the car or whatever. <laughs> I have a confession. I've never played any Mario Party games. I I guess I need to try one sometime. <laughs> they're so fun, and they're There's so, so easy. many. They're so easy to play. <laughs> They've got to be good. They keep making them. Oh my god! They're so easy to play. They're literally like press A to win. <laughs> like that's think, it. Do you think I can win, Sam? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Joel here. His his t-shirt. His shirt says yuck. <laughs> Bonnie, Mike, Emilio, <laughs> Jethro, and Sherry. I think we were always. I think Sherry was one of our favorites. Sherry! Or Anne. I think Anne was one of our favorites. Chan yeah. and Spider. Oh, Walter. Walter's Spider? Fun. Yeah. Are you, are you serious? He's, he's a dude. Cool dude. He's Spider-Man. He's not Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Do I remember? Why did I like Anne? Oh, yeah. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that, Sam? Fair. Sam. 
<laughs> Whoa! You're you're on boats. So this is just the qualifying race. This is this is to make sure You're in someone's I mean, bath. That's a bathtub. So that's the that's the whole stage. This is just uh let's make sure the player knows how to play the game. Oh, let's that's just good. send them in a circle. You can't crash, you can't lose. Ooh, who oh, is that's our right. enemy? That's right, all these characters have different skill levels. Like Spider I think is the hardest. Walter is the weakest. Oh, oh yeah, oh, these guys okay. are kinda these guys are kinda easy. So I'll pick uh let's do Walter because I like seeing him dance. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's that guy! You're lucky! You're lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he Let's is that do... guy! <laughs> the legends foretold back in Micro Machines. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> we'll do oh, Bonnie God. and. What does Sherry do? Oh! <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> She's a woo girl. Woo! <laughs> All right, we got one micro machine on the shelf. This Better is the breakfast bends. <laughs> oh, I, oh. All right, so have you, have you played this game? Or have you seen no. this game? So one I've of the things that's so I definitely oh, ooh, waffle. Right, one of the things that's so clever is because it's micro machines. You're racing in uh, teeny tiny environments. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, syrup! Don't get stuck ooh, in the syrup. syrup. Uh oh. Yeah. Go around um, the orange. Yeah. I feel like I have to talk about what I ate today. Tell me what you ate today, Sam. You oh, know I, I know what you ate. <laughs> so you had the <laughs> pinnacle peak peak uh, cuisine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was my suggestion when like I had customers <laughs> come in, like when I worked uh, retail, and they mm -hmm. asked me, "What's the best?" chicken McNuggets that you have. <laughs> and I pointed them to Dino Nuggets. <laughs> like, and they like, they just laughed at me and they're like, that's what you think is the best. I'm like, well, okay. what's better than Dino Nuggets? Like, they're so, all just chicken. <laughs> important question. How do you eat? How do you eat a Dino Nugget? Do you eat it feet first, head first, whole thing in one gulp? Oh, I didn't pay attention. Well, um, mostly I went for the tail first because it was crispy. Whoa. Oh, okay. Because it's crispy. <laughs> very strategic. Yeah. And you have to have, like, I was eating them with, like, a sweet and sour sauce kind of thing. Whoa. 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 And also I had uh, unicorn poop. <laughs> please. Please explain unicorn poop. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> Sorry. Poof. It was like two dollars and you know <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> so you saw you saw this on the shelf and you couldn't not buy it. I couldn't not buy it when it's you know like two dollars. Oh I mean gosh. it was just marshmallows, but ah. and it, it was like the laziest marshmallow ever because <laughs> you know, you know what they did? They just they just took something and just went. You know they did. <laughs> <laughs> they just went. Yeah, like there, it didn't have to like go in some special, you know, like silicone mold or something <laughs> right. to like make. How do we shape. make this look? How do we make this look poop shaped? Oh. Yeah, yeah, just pull the lever. <laughs> just pull <laughs> out of cane, and that was unicorn poop, and it's in different colors. That's pretty pastels. I do love pastels. <laughs> oh God, I don't know if I should ask this. <laughs> It's my poop pastel. And how does it come out? <laughs> yes. I imagine the same. <laughs> I imagine oh the same. Oh my as gosh! Food. <laughs> oh man, I was in first place too. Oh, come on, sports too car. Fast. It's okay. It's okay. You're too fast for him. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, I love. It. I hope we can do the pool table soon. Um, did I eat anything special recently? I got vanilla Pepsi. I don't know. That's nice. Caffeine. And my third vanilla. third can today. It's a party. Oh my god, yeah. Oh You're raging. <laughs> as you as you can see. <laughs> this is forty year old raging. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. We're up past our bedtime playing micro machine. <laughs> oh, it's after ten thirty. <laughs> this is this is 
those old people raging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate the glue. Oh. Oh yeah, now we're on a desk. This reminds this is me. Workbench, yeah. It reminds me of Pikmin Two, which is the last Pikmin I played. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, oh, the demo. You can play the free demo for a uh, Switch. Of we two checked it out. A uh, uh, four, sorry, the one that just four. came out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like the first one was just the best, and the second one took such a nosedive, in my opinion. Oh, okay. Maybe you don't play the new one. So I heard. So I know. What do I know about Pikmin? I played. I I rented from Blockbuster Video the first <laughs> game. Uh, the day the time limit stressed me out. I no. played it. I got yeah. It did stress me out. I promise. You. I mean, no. <laughs> uh, not, well, I'm just saying that the second I talk, I'm going to talk exactly about that and why it needs to be back. Oh, okay. I heard. <laughs> okay, so that was my one. My one thing I played. I heard two was very different. I heard three mm -hmm. was like the first game, and then four was like the second game. Sorry. Go ahead, Sam. Teach me about. Oh, really? oh okay. Well, no, no, no. So uh, the first one, I loved the time limit. I mm -hmm. loved that. Oh my god. Like, Did it have it had like an oppressive feeling to it? Oh, oh! I need to substitute another racer. Oh no. shoot! Walter, that means eventually no. I'm gonna have to. Eventually I'm gonna have to race Spider. Walter race. out of game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Okay. All right, we'll do uh, Emilio. Oh yeah. Emilio. <laughs> All right, so uh, Pikmin. Time limit. Big Why do you like the, what, what do you like about the uh, the time? I business? love making a schedule. <laughs> Interesting. It fulfilled that inner <laughs> urge, that need to uh, schedule stuff. Yeah, yeah. I love making a schedule and like planning out my route of attack and being like, oh, uh, if today if I can get these three parts. <laughs> that that'll make up for yesterday when mm -hmm. I only opened a bunch of like gates or something, you know? Oh, I love it. And then like I had a few times where um, like I'd have all of my red Pikmin die in a horrible drowning accident, <laughs> and I'd I'd be like, it would change like my whole like plan, and I'd be like, okay, well I'm going to do this one that needs the blue guys i'll do this one and while i'm doing that i will have these other guys bring more or like flowers to the red to make more red so like oh i have two or three different missions going on at once like wow you, you know? would juggle it all in your head yes i love that <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part that's cool and then like pikmin 2 came along and it was just like yeah, there's no time limit. There's no time limit. Okay. Yeah, you just you just need to get so much money or whatever, and then. Oh, <laughs> so instead of instead of being all about time, it was about get the most money. Sam's not yeah. about that uh, capitalistic well, lifestyle. Well, what what made it so <laughs> bad was like one day, I just grabbed a Dr Pepper cap. <laughs> In the cave. In the game, and they brought it back, and they're like, "Oh, this is worth two dollars," and then my game just ended. What? And it was like, "Oh, you did it! You got the you got the money amount." Oh. <laughs> and I was like, "What? <laughs> like there's there's no final boss. There's no you know like victory or any. It, it's just no. Oh, you did it! You did it! Okay." And then it huh. ended. And then it was like, you could still keep playing. It's like, I but, hadn't even explored all the maps or anything yet. Like, it's just, okay, you did it. You know, like, what okay. would be the point of playing after that? Right, exactly. I was like, well, I don't want to keep playing. I, I did it. And it was just like, yeah, I didn't I didn't like that. It's like, I don't know. It, feel, it felt very, like, unstructured and just like, I don't know, man. I'm not an anarchist. <laughs> What? <laughs> I need rules. I need rules and regulations. You need structure to your life. 
<laughs> I see. <laughs> oh, oh so I need no, to beat I this. Like the... I see. I didn't know all that. Also, I thought that um, the purple and white Pikmin didn't add much to the game and only made it more confusing. Oh. Yeah. Like, the purple Pikmin are just really big. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. It's like I really want it. Yeah. Each one purple Pikmin counts as, like, ten normal Pikmin. Why? Oh, like, their power? Yeah, strength? they're powerful. Yeah. So it's like, you know, to bring things back, you'd need to have... So, like, they'd have unrealistic numbers or whatever. Oh, to carry this back to your ship, you need... 500 Pikmin. It's like, well, I don't have 500, obviously. So it's like, oh, no, it means you need so many of the purple ones. Ah! Oh. I don't know. I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh. Maybe mad. Well, that's cool. Well, thank you for teaching me about the wonders <laughs> of Pikmin 1. I... And, like, did you, did you have a, do you also like a, what? The other game with the time structure, um, Legend of Zelda. No, I was in first place. <laughs> oh, Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. <laughs> okay, I got. Well, it. While I liked that one, I never played it. I okay, like the That's idea fine. of it. I, so I played Ocarina of Time. Okay, I played Ocarina of Time. Um, I got to the end and then I didn't beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Sam. <laughs> Like, right outside of the temple waiting to challenge a candidate or whatever. And just like, now nope. you will face the ultimate challenge. <sighs> <sighs> I'm going to go have a snack. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the ultimate challenge? Oh, sounds difficult. <laughs> sounds stressful. I think I'm just going to, you know, go outside. <laughs> Touch <laughs> Chris. Oh, my gosh. Thanks, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, jeez. On the tops. Toppies. toppies. Is that what they were called? I think so. Cereal? Toppies? Totally not Cheerios. Yeah, it's Cheerios. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Oh, stupid oh. waffle. Ah! Oh. Oh. Syrup. Right in the syrup. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I okay. really hope. Yes. Well, I, well, the whole thing I wanted to talk to you about today. Oh, the yes. Reason, the reason I called this meeting was <laughs> right. was for uh, Stingray Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Stingray Jesus was about to be born, but it didn't happen. Oh. It was a Stingray with no father. <laughs> I see. <laughs> the bastard Stingray. No. Th well, what happened <sighs> was there was a Stingray named Charlotte at the Echo Team Aquarium in North Carolina. <laughs> okay? And okay. this Stingray Charlotte, they claimed that she was pregnant, but that there were no male Stingrays in the tank with oh, her. Oh, you're telling me life found a way. <laughs> and they were saying she was pregnant. No, it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. They were, they were saying that she was pregnant, but that she was with two male sharks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They said that she had bite marks on her that probably came from the sharks during mating. So... Getting kinky. Okay. The, the, the weeks go by. The weeks go by. And no baby pops out of Charlotte. And everyone's waiting for it to pop out. You know, like, everyone's waiting for it. And they're asking, they're like, what's wrong with Charlotte? What's happening with Charlotte? And the, they would keep updating with these vague things of, like, there was no deviation in Charlotte's behavior. <laughs> she's oh she's fine. You know, thanks for your concern. And that was it. And then, like, months and months and months were going by. And there was no babies. And like th they said that like people like veterinarians were like they did Stumped. they did a live stream. They did okay. a live stream, an ultrasound live stream. Where they oh. had um they had them using the ultrasound. None of them knew how to use it, by the way. 
And they were okay. all saying, oh, we just learned how to use it today, you know? And they're like swarming it around. They're like, oh, yep, she's got three puffs in her. Okay. <laughs> and they're just like swerving this around or whatever. And they said that like real vets were like offering their services for free. They're like, we want to know what's wrong with Charlotte, you know? And yeah. they they would deny them. They would turn them <gasps> down. And then people started going, oh, my God, this is clickbait. <laughs> Charlotte was never pregnant. And then, <gasps> and then some, okay. Some people were saying that it was um this thing. Oh God, what's it called? Parthogenesis or something? Genesis or something, something like that. <laughs> where uh, amphibians do it, and like other animals do it. Stingrays have never been known to do it, where they can get themselves pregnant or whatever. Whoa. <laughs> But stingrays, stingrays have never been known to do it. So, right. you know, they were thinking that maybe this was it. And then, like, I think it was just recently, the Echo team finally updated and said, okay, she's not pregnant. She's suffering from a reproductive disease <gasps> disorder or something like that. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Wait, so this is all recent? And Charlotte has a huge, like, ulcer on their back, and they're not treating it, and it's getting bigger all the time, and they're not being good to Charlotte. I'm glad oh, you're... Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you're, uh, you know, spreading the word about Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte needs no introduction, okay? Charlotte, <laughs> Charlotte was actually on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes! One of the comedians on Saturday Night Live dressed up as a stingray, as Charlotte the Stingray, for a bit on the show. Wow. Charlotte You're is You're kidding. <laughs> I, wow. I'm speechless. <laughs> dressed up as Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> Charlotte is my new Carol Baskin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, this could go on for a while. That means this could go on for a while. So, <laughs> I just want to finish up some thoughts of uh, <laughs> Micro Machines. Okay, okay, yeah. So, check this out. This game, uh, I love this game. Super fun. Also, fun multiplayer. Oh. Not only was it fun multiplayer, uh, they did some really clever stuff. Check this out. The Sega Genesis version. Ooh. You know, the Sega Genesis has two ports that you can plug in two controllers. Oh, yeah. The cartridge has two more controller slots on it. Ooh. So you can play four player multiplayer. Wow. Really clever. And the Game Boy version has one of my favorite features. You can play two player multiplayer on a single Game Boy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, it oh, may not be comfortable, but I, it's a little intimate. But I love that they implemented it. So you get your chonky boy out. Get your chonky boy out. And uh, you set it down on the table. And uh -huh. the way they did it was... Uh, okay, so you're always going forward. You, whoever breaks in a racing game. Okay, so your car automatically moves forward. And you just have one person uses the left and right on the D-pad to steer. And the other person uh -huh. uses the A and B to steer. And that's it, multiplayer. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, that does sound interesting. That's kind of like how the Switch is with the little, like, controllers on the sides. <gasps> it's like a Switch predecessor. <laughs> Whoa. That's where they came up with the idea. <laughs> it's They're all like, coming Remember together. Micro Machines? We're going to make a whole system based on Micro Machines for the Game Boy. <laughs> We're on to you, Nintendo. We're on to you. Yeah. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> 